<laughs> Tales from the Crypt. Season 5, Episode 5, People Who Live in Brass Hearses, starts out surprisingly with the intro. Then we get into the Crypt Keeper segment. He's dressed like a football player playing football with skeletons because we haven't done the football gimmick yet. Then we get into the story. It stars uh, Bill Paxton as a, uh, you know, the Southern Bill Paxton criminal type. <laughs> and then we get Brad Dorf, who's playing a mentally challenged dude, which, uh, you know, Brad Dorf's a good actor and he can do different stuff. But it's just one of these things, I guess, one of these guys where, you know, you just see the actor acting like that character. You don't really buy him as that character. So it's kind of just, oh, Brad Dorff's acting mentally challenged, not like you're actually buying it as a mentally challenged dude. And then we have uh, Michael Lerner. I think that's his name. Can't remember. If you've seen him, you know, big dude. Looks like he's always wearing a fake nose. I think he was... Uh, in the classic Godzilla 98. <laughs> so uh, Bill and Brad, their brothers, Bill was just in jail for two years for uh, stealing money from the ice cream distribution center. He and his brother used to work at, his brother still works there. So his brother, Brad. So uh, he's out of jail and he's coming up with this scheme scheme sure, to uh rob the old safe from the uh ice cream place <laughs> so uh since his brother works there he's kind of the inside man and uh the lady who works there he tries distracting her and everything goes haywire he ends up uh brad ends up what we think is killing the lady but uh she gets away as she thinks but then old bill comes out with a meat hook or an ice block hook or some shit wax her in the head with it and all all the time this is going on an ice cream man who uh played by uh the dude from godzilla 98 he's uh waiting to pick up his delivery and earlier in the day there was a scene where uh, Bill went up to talk to this guy because he's the dude that uh, turned him in for stealing. So it's a scene where uh, Bill goes up to the ice cream truck. And this ice cream man, he's like the favorite neighborhood ice cream man because he has this little puppet that talks in a silly voice. Sounds like one of the voice actors from the Ninja Turtles. Not 100% sure. But uh, it sounded like it. So he just kind of goes there and intimidates the guy. And it's just, oh, I'm out of prison. Just letting you know. Just, you know, just intimidating the guy. And then the ice cream man goes back to selling ice cream to kids, doing his little puppet show. Like, oh, look, I'm going to drink this water or whatever the fuck, this cup of piss. And the puppet's still going to talk. How am I doing this magical trick? I can't believe it. So, uh, flashback to everything going wrong at the robbery. The fucking ice cream man gets tired of waiting, so he takes off. Turns out the robbery was botched because the safe shut and Brad didn't take the money out. So now Bill says, fuck this, we're going to go rob the ice cream man. So they go kick the door open to his house with guns and uh, the ice cream man walks out. Hey, what the hell's going on here? Bill tells Brad, hey, we have ways of making this guy talk and telling us where the money is, don't we? And Brad says something and then blows the guy's fucking head clean off. He ain't gonna talk now. So now they have to, you know, go their separate ways in the house looking for the money. Bill finds it. It's hidden in a bunch of like ice cream bar boxes. And he couldn't be happier to find all these fat stacks of money. 
unfortunately, they're only ones. So while, yes, that is a lot of money, it's they're just ones, so it's not like he's finding stacks of hundreds, but he's playing it like he is. And then uh, he runs to go find his brother to let him know that he found the money. And oh my, Lanta, the ice cream man's up and his head's not blown off. And he's holding up Brad's dead body like Goro throws it over to uh, what's his nuts, Bill. Bill's like, oh, this, what the hell's going on here? The ice cream man. Blows Bill's leg off, says something like, you know, I had a brother too. We were really close until he died. Well, some would say we're still close. Here it comes. Turns out he was a Siamese twin and his brother was strapped to his ass. <laughs> when you see the dummy. It's like it just looks like clothes stuffed with fiber fill or pillows or some shit. And it's nowhere near as big as it needed to be because it would have probably pulled the actor's pants down around his ankles if it was any heavier. But, you know, it's funny. It's a funny old Henry. Not as funny as the gorilla wanting to fuck the guy. But still, it's funny just for how goofy and shit it looks. And, uh, then the ice cream man kills Bill in Tales from the Crypt. We go back. Fucking Crypt Keeper makes some football joke about a handoff, says something about sucking dick, and we're out. Yeah, it was all right. Uh, it was funny, not the greatest, like I said. Bill Paxton's kind of, you know, playing the Bill Paxton type, so it is what it is. If you've never seen Frailty, watch that. That shit's great. And Brad Dorf, it's just hard to play him, hard to buy him when he's playing stuff other than anything. And hey, it's Brad Dorf. And uh, old Michael Lerner, I hope that is his name. He was pretty good as the dual role. Head on over to dwnproductions.net, masks, bus, props, custom work. Maybe you want a uh, custom dummy you can strap to your ass and dress up like an ice cream man. <laughs> if so, hit me up. And then head on over to Fast Custom Shirts. Hundreds and hundreds of t-shirt designs, all reasonably priced. Maybe you want some custom shirts, hit them up. Every Monday, I uh, drop a podcast with the dude who runs Fast Custom Shirts T-Shirt, Joe. Just talk about the movies we watched that week and uh, life in general. So if you want that, which you don't, come back and listen to that. All right. Boy, God.